Games that I would give a 10 out of 10 don't come around every day. But I've been gaming for like four decades now, and I've come across quite a few in my time. Hi there everybody, this is David, and today I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe are 10 out of 10 games. Those perfect ones out there. But before we do get to that, let me first talk about today's sponsor, as this video is brought to you by Trinity Trigger in a special collaboration with Daredrop, an all new action role playing game combining the look and feel of iconic RPGs of the 90s with a modern emphasis on fast paced, customizable combat. As Cyan, a young man burdened by the gods with the mantle of Warrior of Chaos and an inevitable clash against the Warrior of Order, players will set out on a grand adventure to defy fate and save Trinitea. Daredrop is a free to use tool for content creators to complete dares and challenges made up by the game developers. When creators complete challenges, they can submit a clip to receive rewards like game keys, merchandise, and more. Learn more about Trinity Trigger and Daredrop at the link below. And thanks once again to Trinity Trigger and Daredrop for sponsoring this video. And with that, here are those 10 out of 10 masterpieces. Number 10. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, released for the Nintendo Switch. I've been in love with this series ever since I imported the first game and modded my Wii for it. And while I was let down by the second, the third one just did everything right. From fun, likable characters who are not just reduced down to an anime trope, to vast, open regions rife for exploration, filled to the brim with treasures, secret passages, hidden named monsters, and discovery points. You could play this for months on end and still not see everything that there is to see. The combat has been refined down to a work of art, and the vivacious music, along with that British voice acting, really immerses you into the world. I swear, I spent all of last summer playing this game. I just could not put it down. Number 9. Grandia 2. Released for the Sega Dreamcast, PS2, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Do you know games that just kind of go on forever and then they eventually wear out their welcome? Games that would have just been perfect had they ended around that 30 hour mark. To me, there is nothing better than a short, sweet story told well. And this one, filled to the brim with humor, will be with you for years to come. Take that nice, tight story and add in one of the best battle systems ever made, combining high-speed turn-based combat with magic leveling, unique skills, and the ability to cancel your enemy's attacks, and this is without peer. And as much as I like the first game's story and characters, I just think that the sequel took everything that the original did and turned the volume up to deliver one of the best turn-based experiences out there. Number 8. Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology Released for the Nintendo 3DS I love time-traveling RPGs. There's just something about them. It's whimsy and fantasy, combined with the best of science fiction. And while they can be hard to pull off, this one did it right. I mean, not only was the original the best game on the DS, this remake was the best RPG on the 3DS. Over the course of the game, you're forced to make many decisions, and one wrong move could spell disaster for your team and the world. So you use your time traveling powers in a smaller, more quiet way, where you just go back a couple of minutes and change a few decisions, which then alter the course of the world. The battle system's great, incorporating turn-based tactical combat along with grid positioning, where you can push and pull your opponents into various squares and then unload a barrage of damage upon that square, hitting them all at once. It's so satisfying. Number 7. Golden Sun 1 and 2. Released for the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo Switch. These aren't just the best RPGs on the Game Boy Advance, they're some of the best RPGs ever made, as Golden Sun 2 is a direct sequel to the first game. Finishing out its story and following the exact same characters, I feel like it needs to be included here alongside its predecessor. I mean, if these games were released on modern hardware, they would have just been one game after all. They both take place in the land of Wayard, where synergy rules over the roost. This is a turn-based RPG with a robust class system and lovable characters, but it also sports some of the most devious brain-teasing puzzles. You see, synergy acts as magic inside of battle, while outside on the field, you can use it to douse flames, freeze puzzles, move pillars, catch objects, or grow vines. This is truly a living, breathing world. And boy, 
does it deserve a true remake combining them once and for all. Number 6, Suikoden 2, released for the PlayStation 1. Sometimes games can just be ruined by having way too many characters. I mean, you only need to look at Chrono Cross to see this travesty in action. So you might think that it's the same case for Suikoden 2, but it's not. Despite having 108 recruits, this tells a tight-knit story of love, family, friendship, war, and loss, while also having a vast world to explore, direct relations to other games in the series, beautiful sprawling dungeons, a fast-paced robust battle system with no need to grind, and some of those beautiful pixel art to ever grace the PlayStation. There is a reason why this game is getting a remake, and it's not just to be able to kick Luca Blight's ass again, though that is always worth doing. Number 5. Lunar Silver Star Story Complete, released for the PlayStation 1. There's not many times before I say that a game is a game changer, but this one is. There were just so many firsts here for me. This was the very first RPG that I played with voice acting, and it was so good! And those animated cutscenes just took my breath away. Not to mention the chills that are sent down my spine every time I hear Luna sing Wind Nocturne. But more so than that, the gameplay in and of itself is a masterpiece. Your characters are so full of joy, everything that you find is useful, and that battle system is top-notch, incorporating turn-based battles alongside with strategic placement in combat. Number 4. Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals, released for the SNES. The Super Nintendo put out some great RPGs in its waning years, and while the Final Fantasies, Chrono Triggers, and Super Mario RPGs of the world were expected to be bangers, Lufia 2 wasn't. The first game was kind of like a bare-bones Dragon Quest clone, but the second was groundbreaking, and it still hasn't even been matched today. It combines the traditional RPG elements, such as turn-based encounters, with a riveting story, equipment, and magic, along with some roguelike elements in the dungeons. With each step that you take, the monsters move along with you, and you can use tools to not only stun them, but to solve some of the most devious puzzles you've ever seen. The character growth is top-notch, but the gameplay is really what carries this masterpiece. Number 3, Final Fantasy VI, released for the SNES, PS1, Game Boy Advance, Mobile, PC, and Nintendo Switch. There are so many Final Fantasies out there, but I only wanted to include one of them on the list. That being said, I spent way too much time debating with myself over which one I wanted to choose, but ultimately, I had to go with this one. If the music doesn't capture you, the heartbreaking storyline combined with the atmospheric music will. While class systems existed before this, the addition of Magicite began a trend which I would later bemoan as, everyone can do everything. Except here, it still works! Because, yeah, everybody can learn every spell, but everybody's stats are completely different, and they all have a unique skill differentiating them from one another. Not only that, but you have a perfect balance of linearity with the world of balance, and then non-linearity after the world falls into ruin. Number 2, Dragon Quest 3, released for the NES, SNES, Game Boy Color, Mobile, and Nintendo Switch. Similar to Final Fantasy, there are many Dragon Quest games out there that I could have chosen to put here, from 5, 8, to 11. But this one won out in the end. I still remember whenever I got this for the NES after I'd broken my arm in 4th grade. And I must have played the game for like a week straight. I remember that it came with this monster poster, and I would study that every day. At one point, I remember my mother saying to me that if I paid as much attention to my multiplication tables as I did to those darn Nintendo games, then I wouldn't have any problems with math. But nothing could drag me away from this adventure, where you could choose your party, define your job classes, roam around an Earth-inspired map, and conclude the Erdrick trilogy once and for all. In number one, Chrono Trigger, released for the SNES, PlayStation 1, DS, and PC. Hello, it's me, that basic bitch that's gonna put Chrono Trigger at number one. Just joking, but believe me, there is a good reason why this game tops so many lists. The game was a collaboration of the Dream Team. Square and Enix came together to create something special. 
a time-traveling masterpiece where you do what it takes to fight off Lavos and save the planet from an apocalyptic future. But it wasn't just the story that brought it above and beyond. It was the way that you encountered enemies on screen and how your positioning actually mattered in battle. Then, with the more skills that you learn and the more party synergy that you gain, you could squash them with some double and triple techs. It took everything that makes RPGs fantastic and elevated it to a whole other level. So that's it for the 10 games that I would say deserve a score of 10 out of 10. What games do you think are like perfect? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video and what I do on the channel, please consider following me over on Twitter, supporting me on Patreon for exclusive videos and early access to my content, heading on over to Twitch for streaming fun, or coming on over to my Discord to chat and hang out. The links to them all can be found in the video description. This has been David, and if you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.